all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. And it's midweek and we already have a bunch of news, so let's jump right into it. And let's start off with Transformers. So this week we got the official word from Hasbro that that Transformers Kingdom Maximal T-Rex figure, which is a repaint of the, the Kingdom Megatron figure. So here in the United States, this is being offered through Target. And right now, I guess if you have their red card, I think that's what their in-house credit card. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't have one. But if you have the red card or if you sign up for the red card, then you can go on and pre-order this off of Target.com. It is going to cost you $49.99. Now, for those of you who live in the UK, you've actually got a much easier access to this figure. You can just simply go on to Hasbro Pulse the UK uh, version, and, and you can purchase it there. And this figure is going to be released in September. Okay, so now moving on to Star Wars. So following up on a story I talked about the other day on Monday, that Star Wars Black Series gaming greats, the Knights of the Old Republic, Zalbar figure, the Wookiee character, it is available for pre-order now. It is a GameStop exclusive. It's going to cost you $24.99, and the figure is slated for a release on August 1st. And again, you can go over to GameStop and pre-order the figure. It's been available since yesterday. And then for you vintage collection fans, just revealed today by Hasbro via Bosk Bounty. Uh, Hasbro is doing their fan reveals for Star Wars now, and, and so this one comes via Bosk Bounty, and I'll put a, a link to his YouTube channel in the video description below. But today they announced that they are doing a vintage collection four-pack based on figures from the Bad Batch. So the figures included in this set are Clone Captain Rex, and he's got that kind of poncho, his disguise. If you watched the latest episode of The Bad Batch, Captain Rex had returned. And so you get that uh, disguise poncho and you can take his helmet off. He looks a little bit older and rougher than you know when he started out. And, um, you know, pretty cool figure in the set. Now, the other figures in the set also include uh, Clone Captain uh, Ballast, Clone Captain Grey, and an elite squad trooper. So it's all clones, none of the actual Bad Batch members, though I'm assuming those are probably gonna come on single card releases. Now this four pack is an Amazon exclusive. It is going to cost $59.99. It's gonna be available this fall. It is up on the Amazon website. It went up for pre-order today. It, however, quickly sold out the pre-orders did. I would suspect that Amazon will get more of them in at some point. So I wouldn't worry too much, but, and I'll even put a link to, uh, to it on the Amazon website in the video description. So you can bookmark it and keep an eye on it. If you want to try and add this to your collection and you didn't, you know, if you weren't one of the lucky ones that were able to pre-order, as I understand, I didn't watch it, but as I understand it, it sold out pretty quickly. Next up, we've got some Marvel stuff. So first of all, Mezco just today put up for pre-order their fantastic four box set. So this is all four members of the Fantastic Four that they're offering together. They had shown some initial images for this a few months ago, but now we've got the official details. And again, it is available for pre-order. You can get it at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. It does have a pretty hefty price tag. It's going to cost you 420 bucks. But with this set, you've got Thing, who comes with a lamp post, uh, an iron girder, a dented iron girder. You've got some blast effects. You've got a disguise. You know, he would often go out with the trench coat and the hat and the glasses. So you get that disguise. He's got four different head sculpts, multiple pairs of hands. Of course, all the figures do come with uh, Fantastic Four uh, base slash flight stands. Now with the Human Torch, the Human Torch, you get three different head sculpts. This is really more Johnny Storm than the Human Torch. He's in his Fantastic Four outfit. They do give you one of the heads is an actual flamed on head for a Human Torch. And then you also get some flame effects. You actually get a light up base with this one. So that's kind of cool. He's got multiple hands. So you can kind of make it look like he's flaming on, but you, you, you know, his outfit's always going to be there. I kind of feel like they should have made it so it was like translucent flame plastic underneath his outfit. And then you could just take off his outfit and switch out the heads and stuff if you wanted to actually have a full on flame Johnny Storm. But as it is, you can only do a partial uh, Johnny Storm flame on with this one. 
And again, this is really more Johnny Storm than, than actual Human Torch. Next up, we've got the Invisible Woman. She's got multiple head sculpts. She comes with some invisible type effect pieces. She's got multiple pairs of hands. You, know, you can make it look like she's shooting uh, her invisible uh, force field out. So that's kind of cool. And then there's Reed Richards. He comes probably with the most accessories. So he has uh, multiple head sculpts, including a full beard one. He also has multiple hands. He comes with some stretchy parts, uh, basically a, a shirt that is you know stretched out. And then you've got arm uh, stretchy uh, attachments and leg uh, stretchy attachments as well. So you can make it look like he's using his abilities. It's kind of cool that they give you the kind of stretched out shirt to go along with the figure. And then he comes with Herbie the robot, which was originally created back when the uh, original Fantastic Four cartoon was made and they didn't want to uh, have Human Torch on there because they were afraid kids were going to light themselves up on, on fire trying to emulate his powers. So instead, uh, they went with the ro they made this robot, which eventually made his way into the comics and stuff. But he's got some blast effects. You can take off his uh, rocket base. He's got uh, basically, you know, he's kind of like a, a mobile lab. So he's got some uh, lab type stuff. You can open up the bottom, you know, his bottom section and kind of look like, you know, make it look like you're running some lab tests or have Reed look like he's running some lab tests and such. So that's kind of cool. You know, definitely Herbie is much more detailed here than the Marvel Legend version version that we got previously so but of course like i said even though it's a pretty cool looking set it definitely has a hefty price tag it's going to set you back 420 bucks and again it is available for pre-order at places like our sponsor big bad toy store yesterday we got a surprise marvel legend reveal so this is a game reverse figure based on miles morales uh kind of a holographic uh form of miles Miles Morales, a translucent plastic. This is actually a new body. They're not just using the previous Miles Morales Spider-Man figure. So I'm assuming that at some point down the road, we will see like a non-translucent plastic version of this figure. Um, probably maybe in the next Spider-Man wave. I don't know. But, you know, being this is a new body and all, I doubt they just did it for, for this holographic or, or translucent type uh, figure. But this is, you know, from the PS5 video game, Miles Morales video game. This is a GameStop exclusive here in the United States, and it is currently available for pre-order on the GameStop website and is slated for release in October. Now, just a quick note, you might want to mark your calendars for this coming Friday because there should be another uh, Spider-Man reveal. Um, so uh, I, that's all I'm going to say at this point. But again, mark your calendars for this coming Friday because there will be another official uh, Marvel Legends reveal and it will be Spider-Man related. And then just a quick final bit of news I wanted to share with you guys. And we actually talked about this a little bit in Sunday's live stream. But those of you wondering about the classic Marvel Legend Nova figure, which here in the United States is a Walgreens exclusive, you know, those of you in Canada and either in even other places overseas have actually already gotten their hands on this figure. You know, in Canada, it's an EB Games exclusive and they've had the figure in stock for over a month. But we here in the United States have yet to see that figure release. And according to Dan Young, who made a post on social media yesterday, that figure will be released sometime in the summer. Now, of course, it's summer now, technically. So I'm guessing because he felt he needed to make a post just to give people an update. He was probably meaning later in the summer. So hopefully we will see it by next month in July. You know, but I guess it's conceivable we might not even see it until August. Now, originally it was said that the next Walgreens exclusive figure after Nova, which is Quasar, would be released in you know that August time frame. And probably it will in Canada. Whether it gets held back and delayed here in the United States or whether they just essentially end up releasing the two figures pretty close together, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, um, I, I definitely wouldn't expect to start seeing Nova here until, uh, you know, probably next month sometime. Okay, now let's jump into Masters of the Universe. So just to update a story I talked about on Monday, and of course, if you caught my review yesterday, you've already gotten this information, but that, that Masters of the Universe Revelation Masterverse Skelly God figure that had started to show up at Target stores, that is pretty much showing up in Target stores in full force all across the country. There should not be any embargo date on it. You know, originally, or, you know, initial reports had indicated maybe there was a cashier lockout on them. But, you know, I found my one at my local store yesterday and had no problems with it. So you should be good to go. There's no restrictive date that's been placed on it in the Target system. 
And as I understand it, uh, apparently my original information when I had said that Walmart was going to be the one to get first dibs on these Masterverse figures here in the U.S., well, I get either my info was a little mixed up or something changed, but it's actually not Walmart. It's Target that's getting the first dibs on these. You know, Walmart got the origin stuff and I guess Target is getting these. So everybody should have these, you know, start selling these by August time frame. But right now for the foreseeable future, Target is the place to look. Now, of course, Target right now is only getting, as far as I know of, is only getting the Skelly God. Probably will start getting Battle Cat within the next few weeks. And then for the single release figures, I don't have any kind of like, I don't know when they're going to start showing up in stores, but I do have a DPCI number for you, which I will put down in the video description below. And a big thanks to Josh for finding that uh, DPCI number for me. For you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, we've got some updated package images for those upcoming uh, BST AXN turtle figures. I've talked about those before. You know, several months ago, we got our initial look at these, but these are final packaged images. Now, these figures will start showing up at Walmart very soon. Also, we've got a look at the Beetlejuice figure. And if you're not familiar with the line, uh, these are figures standing around five inches tall. They're said to have roughly around, you know, 25 points of articulation. They've got accessories and everything, and they cost in the neighborhood of $15 or $16. And then for you Star Trek fans, company Playmobil has some big news, and I do mean big, on the Star Trek front. So they've announced that they are doing a $500, and yes, you heard me correct, it's going to cost $500, Star Trek USS Enterprise playset. Now this is based on the original series with Captain Kirk and crew, William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, so on and so forth. So I guess with the minifigures, they, you know, it's not like they really look like the actors. But, but the Enterprise itself is pretty big. It is said to be 42 inches long and 18 inches wide. You can lift off the top of the saucer section and it reveals a bridge where you can sit the minifigures. You also have a section at, you know, there in the mid area for the engineering. You can uh, remove a panel and you can see the engineering section of the ship with dilithium crystal and all. So that's cool. Now you get uh, mini figures of all the original crew members, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Chekhov, Sulu, and Uhura, and Scotty as well. You also uh, get various other uh, accessories and you get lights and sounds with it as well. And you, you even have like you can put it on display base or you can hang it um, however you want. So definitely it is a pretty cool set. It is also a very expensive set. Again, coming in at 500 bucks and you can pre-order this one at Entertainment Earth. Playmobil is also doing an A-Team set. I think I forgot to talk about this the other week but they are doing an A-Team set with the van from the original TV series, along with all the members, Murdoch, B.A. Baracus, Mr. T, uh, Hannibal Smith, George Papard, and Faceman, Dirk Benedict. You know, they're all there. So, uh, you know, they're kind of definitely, uh, Playmobil seems to be uh, digging into those nostalgia type licenses. You know, they've previously done Back to the Future and Ghostbusters, and now they're expanding out. And with that Star Trek one, again, that, that one I think is probably the biggest and most expensive set that they've done to date. For G.I. Joe fans, 3.0 is doing a variant version of their 1.6 scale Snake Eyes figure. This is a red variant. It's based on the IDW comic book series called G.I. Joe Dead Game. I, I don't remember if I talked about this. I don't think I did in the last news video. Uh, we got a preview image, but now the official images are out. The figure is available for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. It's being sold exclusively at Big Bad Toy Store here in the United States. It's $149.99. You get things like his swords, his Uzi, you know, all the things that came with the uh, regular version uh, come with this red variant as well. And, you know, if you're thinking it looks like Deadpool, that's because uh, the, the comic this is based on was actually done by Rob Liefeld, who, of course, you know, helped create the character when he was at Marvel. NECA Toys has released a few teaser images for upcoming products. So first of all, we've got this teaser image showing some accessories for new Gremlins figures based on the Bad Batch movie. They put this up yesterday in celebration of that movie's 31st anniversary. I don't know exactly which figures these are going to be included with, but hopefully those details will come soon. And then also yesterday, they released this first preview image of their upcoming Universal Monsters, the Wolfman figure. So this is based on the Lon Chaney movie from 1941. 
It is probably the next figure to be released. We've got Frankenstein and the Mummy were the first two figures announced for this line. And now we have the Wolfman. We do also know, based on a press release, that there's going to be a Bella Lugosa Dracula figure uh, released in this line. However, we've not yet seen any images for that one. And as far as the Wolfman goes here, I don't know exactly when this is going to be made available. I don't know if it will be released at like Walmart or Target first and then everywhere. You know, Those details have not been uh, made available by NECA, but hopefully those details will be coming soon. For you Halo fans, Jazzwares is doing a special two-pack, the Halo Master Chief 20th Anniversary Spartan Collection two-pack. These are for the 6.5-inch line of Halo figures that they do. This is being sold as a GameStop exclusive. It is available for pre-order now. The cost on it is going to be $39.99, and it is slated for release in October, specifically October 19th. Okay, and then finally for McFarland Toys, so this week that they announced that they're going to be doing a summer showcase event this coming weekend, June 18th through the 20th. So in this event, they're going to be officially showing off a bunch of new products that they're working on. I don't know exactly how much new stuff that they're going to be showing. Um, even other than just the dates, I don't know if these reveals are going to happen throughout the day, if it's just going to be one or two each day. Um, I, those, again, those details really have not been made available, but whatever is revealed, whenever it's revealed, we'll be sure to have full coverage of it on TNI. I suspect the reveals will come via videos done by Todd McFarlane himself, which is what, you know, he often does. It's just, you know, really it's more of a question of how much stuff are they actually going to, uh, debut during the course of the weekend. And they did post up this teaser image of Todd holding his new, uh, 66 TV series, DC retro six inch Batman uh, merchandise. So you can see the figures. We're getting our best look at the packaging with this image. We can see the back cave there on the back table. So, you know, this is really giving us our first overall look. We saw the preview image uh, the other week where we got kind of a close up shot. But here we can see, you know, the actual full size of it and everything. And then, of course, he's also holding up the six inch scale Batmobile. You know, that's in the packaging there. So um, overall, you know, these are supposed to, you know, the Batcave and the Batmobile. I know the Batmobile I've seen, you know, in Target system, they have it listed with a $30 price tag. Uh, overseas prices would indicate that the Batcave is going to cost the same as the Batmobile. So I'm assuming that means it's going to cost 30 bucks or at least in that neighborhood. So, you know, even though the Batcave doesn't look like it's terribly more extensive than just the Bat computer itself, you know, based on what we've seen so far, you know, I think this definitely looks like, you know, a good thing, a, you know, a good amount of play set that you're getting for only 30 bucks. So, you know, the fact that it's not super expensive to me really uh, makes this kind of appealing. Now, I'm sure that all of this uh, Batman stuff will be shown, will be one of the things that they officially debut and give us better looks at um, since they're teasing it now. And then I'm guessing, you know, we'll see some DC Multiverse stuff, some, some Mortal Kombat. They might uh, debut that Disney Mirrorverse stuff um, that has been long rumored and, you know, who knows what else. So definitely, again, you know, we'll have full coverage of anything new that they show off when it happens on TNI. So uh, you might want to check uh, the site out throughout the course of the weekend. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about in the comment section below. Like this video, hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. As always, guys, stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.